Ready? They're off. Very level break in the Terraces Irish 1000 Guineas, Group 1, with 10 fillies lining up over one mile as they organise themselves. Prominent is Meditate, within the centre is Dar House, right up on the outside on the white cap as you send me, with the rail position, the nose banded, and odds on favourite Tahira. And these are tracked by the cross channel runner Bridge as they make the elbow. And it's Dar House and Meditate showing in front of Tahira. You send me on the outside, and then Tarawa and Bridge and Co Raw and Eternal Silence, Yellow Cap of Aspen Grove, Jackie O, the back marker. They're tightly grouped with less than five furlongs to go, almost at halfway, and edging on in front is Dar House. From Stable Companion, Meditate, and then you send me next with Bridge. On the inside is Tahira, and then Koron, Tarawa, Aspen Grove on the outside of Eternal Silence with the back marker, Jackie O. Continuing on towards the final three and a half furlongs and matching strides. Nudged along Dar House and the rail is Meditate. You send me with them on the outside, followed by Tahira, and then Bridge and Koron, Tarawa. Jackie O has made a move on the outside of Eternal Silence and knocked back to last Aspen Grove. Two to run. Meditate strikes the front, quickly followed through by Tahira, who is now poised, one from the rail. Then Jackie O, you send me next with Koron, racing well inside the final furlong, and Tahira hits the front but only just battling back on the inside is Meditate two legs then to Koran then Tarawa but it is Tahira Tahira back at home turf goes one better in the Tarasas Irish 1000 winning it back to back for Chris Hayes and Dermot Well Meditate Koran followed in with Tarawa Let's bring in the hero of the hour Chris Hayes then Chris you can breathe a sigh of relief I think we saw you letting out a fair gasp after the line there how are you feeling about it all now? Yeah obviously relieved Proud of the filly. Um, I know we could do no more in Newmarket, but I was very deflated after, and I took took it hard. Um, I was delighted racing was called off the next day because it's just you don't get opportunities like that too often, and it's not too often you get a filly like that. So I, I had felt like the jockey's always the one to blame, isn't he? And you're always going to blame the driver, and but nobody did, and I was just it was self criticism. But um, look, we were able to get things right today, and. Tactically, I had I had to be very aware from where I was drawn, and I needed a willing partner. And by God, she's good. Talk us through the race because still one can be a poison chalice, as we know. Were you happy with the early position you got, and what was around you? Maybe more importantly, um, yes, uh, she jumped well. I had to get her to jump smart, and she was a little bit keen in my hands until we we met that little dog leg. Um, once I got cover behind Ryan, I was happy then. And at the interchange, I had to take a little sit. Uh, I could see a half a gap coming, but I, I said if I commit now, even as slow as we've gone, I, I'm going to get there too soon. So I had to wait, wait, and have faith that Wayne was going to fall away and that I was going to get enough room, which I did. And look, she's tough and tenacious. Uh, ideally, she'd like a faster pace and be quicker than off it, but it'll show you how good she is when she can adapt to, to circumstances like that. Is that as much pressure as you've ever felt in a race coming here today? A five to two on shot in the classic on home soil after what happened in Newmarket? Yeah, definitely. Um, I wouldn't... I, I, I'd always consider myself a journeyman jockey and you don't get opportunities like that. So, yeah, I, it was the most pressure. Um, I've never ridden a shorter price favourite. Homeless Songs, I don't think, was favourite last year. Autad wasn't favourite when I won the Guinea. Search for a Song wasn't favourite. So, yeah, it was the most pressure. Um, but the team were brilliant. They never once said a thing to me and it was just left to myself and uh, I really didn't feel it until this morning when I woke up and I'm going through the forum and the pace and you're starting to, to wonder then is there going to be pace then the more I looked at it I said no there won't be pace so there was a little bit of panic but I've, I've a lot of faith in the filly so thankfully it worked out. Is she right up there with the best you've ridden? By far yeah she's definitely uh, top class she tries hard and that just goes to show how versatile she is um, for me to light her up and her come back and then have to sit and quicken and get there too soon because she does park you can see by your ears she has a look around so yeah she's 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 different hopefully we might see her take on the colts at some stage as well do you think they'd give she'd give them their belly full too oh, i'd say so yeah she'd let them know she was around anyway she's not uh, she's not the biggest filly in the world but she's got a lot of speed a lot of class and a lot of heart you can celebrate tonight no flat racing tomorrow is there i've been working the morning so it'll be it'll be very tame <laughs> well done okay cheers Thanks, thank you cheers, cheers.
Well, here comes Dermot Weld. Dermot, congratulations after to hear it delivered. And I'm sure that's given you an awful lot of pleasure. It has indeed. Um, she's a very talented filly. And um, my only concern was the draw, to be quite honest with you, in case it was a very slow pace if she gets locked away and getting a clear run. And did you see what you wanted to see in terms of the early part of the race, the position that Chris has? Because I'm sure an awful lot of thought went into it. <laughs> yeah, everything went according to plan, should we leave it that way? We had a good discussion, but that was the plan. And you've been happy with her. I know speaking to you during the week since Newmarket, but I guess you never know after they've travelled, and you did say you would have liked another week as well. Was that particularly satisfying to see her produce her best, or at least very close to it? Yeah, it was very satisfying. I said before Newmarket I needed another two weeks, ideally. And that's just what cost her the race at Newmarket. It just came a little bit soon in the season for her. But she progressed well since Newmarket. And the warm weather was a huge help. And uh, we look at the coronation for her now as a possibility, depending on how she came out of the race. She got a lovely reception here. I think this is a success that's been really warmly received, isn't it? I appreciate everybody's congratulations. And uh, it was a lovely win for everybody. And Dermot, have you looked any further ahead? The coronation, I suppose, is a logical place to go if all is well. What about the latter part of the campaign? I haven't really. The matron, obviously, at Leperstown would be a most definite race for her. You're looking all the way, I said, in the spring. Even the Breeders' Cup, fillies and mares, will be a possibility now that we see she handles this ground so well. But somewhere along the line, she'll get a summer break. As quite possible after the coronation, she could go for a break and reappear in the autumn. But they're all for the future. And you mentioned the ground there. Were you always quietly confident that she would operate effectively on that surface? I was. I, I was hopeful, but you never know fully until they do it. She's been effective on a slow surface as a two-year-old. And... Um, you know what I mean? From the day she first time she appeared in one in Galway, I was always been very impressed by her. Talking to Chris, I know he rates her the best he's ridden, and sounds like by a bit of a distance as well. Where does she rank amongst the tip-top horses you've had? You know, it's very hard to compare different years. And uh, Homeless Songs was very talented when she won here last year. And Nighttime by Mother's Philly won six lengths with Pat Smullen, and she was brilliant the day she won. So it's very hard to compare one with another. I know you mentioned Homeless Songs there. We're still hoping to see her back later on in the season, isn't that right? Hopefully you will, most definitely. I'm very pleased with her and, um, yeah, she's a very talented filly as well. And, Dermot, talk to me about Tarawa. who's won a good race in fourth as well. Didn't perhaps get a smoother run through as the winner, but I think she's vindicated the decision to run her, isn't she? Yeah, Billy was very, very pleased. He gave her an excellent ride. He just said he may be a shield unlucky not to be third on her, but she's only having the fourth run of her life and she's a big filly that look forward to for the future. Well, we look forward to that. And is she one that could maybe step up and trip in the future as well? No, I think no. we'll save about a mile. I think, I think the trip was right, but maybe a truer run mile, if you know what I mean. And with the experience of today's race, I think she'd be a lovely filly going forward. Well, sounds like a win-win. Tahira has delivered. Tommy, thanks again. Appreciate your time. My, my appreciation. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.